Hello, lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing, I mean, today means late night today. It's around almost 2 a.m. here. Uh, I want to do one episode which is very close to my heart. I actually sort of wrote down some of the video ideas that I have. These are not like groundbreaking ideas and these have been done before. So I uh, like to update lists. Uh, so, you know, some people like that, you know. So very idea of this video is uh, talking about barbershop fragrances. What are barbershop fragrances? To my understanding, maybe some notes like lavender, oak moss, a little bit of uh, citrus, you know, aromatic, fougere. These are kind of popular barbershop fragrances, but I created my own criteria because I have my vision of uh, barbers, you know, barbershops like the beautiful light of the barbers, the blue, red and white, you know, that color that moves around, you know, and it rota rotates, you know, at the door. Second thing, I would be like uh, the shaving foam, you know, I did not shave in many years. I sort of keep my beard, so I trim. But I do have memories where I used to go to barbers. They used to give you nice head massage. So you smell those nice oils, which has peppermint and stuff like that. So I sort of uh, gathered 20 fragrances today to do this list. I'll put my first 10 or last 10. Then I will pause the video. I'll put the uh, top 10. Okay, so bear with me. And I have one honorable mention. Let's start with it. This fragrance, I really wanted to put it in this list, but then somehow in my and thought this one didn't become quite a barbershop but it does have almost that vintage feel which is Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal. Let me speak. I'm going to make this a very long video. I don't have any intention to rush. I want to make this special for me. Okay. Um, so Lamal, as you guys know has a mint opening with that uh, vanilla and lavender based and then like a little bit of a base of musk, tonka bean and then perhaps there are uh, things like I don't know some other notes which makes this fragrance kind of like a powdery uh you know you can say dreamy fragrance so i have this uh beautiful christmas edition which is the same juice a little bit stronger than regular lamal but lamal sort of gives me this vibe very classy you know beautiful it's just like a lamal is timeless right but i do not consider this as a proper you know uh barbershop because this one is nice but it's nice outside you know not at the barbers i mean this is too classy for a barber okay something like that or too playful or too flirty you don't want to flirt with your barber right <laughs> there's some videos though funny videos in the states so they do have this effort thing going on the barbers you know never mind that's another thing but lamal is my honorable mention so let's go uh bottom 20 or the last 20 okay first fragrance a cheapy this is called charlie blue did you expect that? Did you see that coming? Nope. Some of you don't even know what that is. You know, like, what the heck is that? That looks like a cheap, like a very, very <laughs> cheap, like a budget fragrance. Yes, this used to be $4, $5. Now it's more like $8. This house, I'll tell you something funny. I reviewed quite a few. Charlie Blue, Red, Silver. I think there's a white one. And then Charlie Gold and regular Charlie. So Charlie, basically, my mom used it, you know, back in 90s 80s when i was a kid i would see this bottle like the ones uh, my dad would get from uk sometimes if you visit you buy these and these have excellent longevity for a cheapie like imagine something under ten dollars that lasts a long time so this one is built for women i'll tell you one thing but it has florals rose kind of like a rosy smell very sweet kind of like a honey sort of smell very tacky cap very tacky sprayers but i'll tell you what this one also has oak moss so this fragrance many ladies feel this is good for women but also can be good for men it's more uh like you know if if you men wear it it will smell more sexy so definitely uh, watch out for this charlie blue you can find this absolutely everywhere especially in bangladesh this is available so that's like a five to seven dollars cologne charlie blue good surprise isn't it next one number 19 another surprise let's talk about denim and this is called denim black the edt i reviewed it like maybe a few weeks back and this one is also again a cheapie this is like five dollars okay so basically people know this as an aftershave but this one is that edt sprayable version and it's also tacky as f <laughs> but look at the juice it looks amazing it looks like a frosted glass that water you know it's like it's like arctic water moving around it's very cool yes this one is amazing amazing as in like i love this fragrance if you never tried it try it it got some musk it got some um i feel florals like a lavender definitely but it's also masculine right so last a decent time but i love this fragrance it's called denim black the edt 
number 18 number 18 let's go with a modern formulation or modern take on a classic which is called drakkar intense okay i love this fragrance a lot it's in the bottom but it doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance it's just that i have the original in the list which is much higher in the order which i love a lot this one has better performance than the og like the black bottle but this one adds some touch like i almost feel like there's a boozy tone to it it's like sweeter it's like more modern uh, like 30 year old man can wear this a little bit spicy it's it's more modern take on drakkar noir but i love this this one can be considered modern barbershop drakkar intense you can get those in 200 ml as well i think next one 19 18 number 17 let me put one of my favorite fragrance of all time bogart Purum. this is another cheapy when i say cheapy i do not disrespect a fragrance cheapy means it's really affordable back in the days 15 dollars now 20 dollars maybe 25 i don't know this remains one of the best cherry tobacco smell which is a little bit powdery a little bit loud and synthetic in the opening but if you can go past that opening man amazing beastly fragrance and this one i definitely consider as one of the best uh, at the barber's kind of smell very masculine you can say budget version of pure Havan. bogart purum <clears throat> next one is getting interesting isn't it next one is johnny depp's signature scent at least back in the days which is called xeno david of or david of xeno so whenever i see this bottle first impression i get from this is that cappuccino color mixes with a little bit of a tobacco perhaps and a little bit of oak moss you know and then definitely a lot of lavender okay so lavender is associated with that smell and these are modern formulations but these will be discontinued once try these like very soon maybe it will be gone from the market then this will be for very expensive price tag so those people who love this one you can try the niche version of it or upper class i'll show you in top five but this one amazing amazing cold weather fragrance xeno davidoff one of my favorites very satisfied with the list today trust me i took almost two hours to pick you know i have a lot of other fragrances that i don't have anymore like fougere royal or something like dan norton's uh, creation that one i don't own and there are a lot of other fragrances i used to have i don't have anymore right um if they were there like savage alex i don't have it it would be a modern masterpiece right so i'm just showing you the, what i have right so let's go number 16 and the favorite of mine 1881 saruti this is a classic fragrance aromatic fougere very clean very easy to wear green herbal fragrance man this fragrance gives me feel of relaxation you know very classy i had it before like did not understand it before very very classy fragrance and you love this as you grow up this is a signature scent worthy fragrance longevity is three to four hours but it's so fresh so nice the lavender is very very inoffensive it can make your uh, day to day signature scent okay 1881 saruti i'm going a little bit quick so you can check the full review i have done full review on each next one is the classic of the drakkar definitely i had 200 ml I sold it off i don't know why i always enjoy this drakkar noir by gila roche or gaila roche i don't know i saw steven say differently but this perfume man love of my life okay why this is so nice this is like literally shaving foam like if i had uh, Reeve Gosh by YSL. I'll show you that one. But this is a cheaper version of that. Uh, some of these fragrances, you know, like I think there's another house, I forgot the name. Uh, they had this nice little, like a, I don't know, bust, you know. I, I remember, I don't remember, MCC or MM. I forgot that house name, but they also had like niche version of it. But man, so beautiful. It's just a perfect weekend scent. When I go to, I mean, I used to go to barbers. Uh, back in the days, it used to smell like it, very soapy, very uh, shaving foamy, very spicy, like not long lasting, but I love this fragrance. Dakar Noir in a classic. Next one, I'm going to show you two bottles, okay? I'm going to show you two bottles. That is my Azaro Purum new bottle. I just got it yesterday because I was missing it. And then I have the vintage, semi vintage at least. These two are a little bit different, okay? Back in the days, if you can find these bottle bigger version, get it. People are asking three, four hundred, five hundred dollars for it because it smells so different. This is one of the most complex. Uh, I think there's a ah, man, this perfume I'm wearing in my hand. The modern formulation, this one smells much easier, sweeter. And I think there's a cinnamon like note. And I think there's a note, man. Um, the star anise, yes, that one you find in uh, Liege, Lance de Guerlain. It's also in there, but it also has lavender, some spices, some sweetness, maybe this hint of orange somewhere. It's a very complex fragrance. I think even tobacco or leather, I don't know. So uh, check out my review on this. I had a very spooky review on this. It smells like a spooky hotel room back in, you know, like the, those horror movies, right? 
Azarapuram definitely one of the best barbershop fragrances you can try. But these are mostly very, uh, how to say, mature fragrances. But try before you buy, okay? So next one is the one my type, okay? Nobody will show you this as their fougere or barbershop. I will. Because this fragrance, it has that classic vibe. It has a fresh vibe. It also has lavender, sage, or something like a, I don't know if it had a lemon verbena. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about cool water. Cool water is a fresh fragrance people know, but also is kind of like a lavender, blue, green. It gives that vibe of Coty Aspen, you know, those kind of fragrances, Pinot Silvestre, you know. I, I feel they are the same family. But I don't know, whenever I smell it, I feel like 90s, you know, like we used to watch Shark Night, you know, like those movies, you know, Jaws, right? This is the fragrance you wear perhaps to watch those movies. And definitely this fragrance, I reminds me of my barber shops, you know, those especially the neat and clean ones, which has AC and on, uh, and they have this machine and then they have all sort of uh, equipments, you know, all the oils, all the, man, the guard is going crazy. You can hear him right here. So uh, good, they're doing their job. But I'm saying, you know, some of the barber shop, they are just up class. Like South Indians, they're some of the best barbers. You know, I in Malaysia, uh, my my barbers were like crazy good, man. Their hands were like magical. And uh, <clears throat> I I see them, you know, they're fully equipped with all the oils, all the spicy ones, or sometimes they have uh, aftershave and oils to give you a massage for a beard trimming. So those are classic barber shops. So definitely cool water reminds me of that. Uh, you may not agree, but I love it. Okay, so that's my number. Thing number 12, number 11, then we talked to number 11 is this fragrance, Boucheron Purom. And this is by Boucheron. This is the EDP concentration. I had the EDT, but I prefer EDP. More masculine, uh, more deeper, just like Jaipur. But more than Jaipur, this fragrance is uh, more like right for this list. I don't know. It's just spicy, uh, vanillic, you know, uh, kind of like thick fragrance, which also has that oak mossy. Uh, lavender at the base so basically it's a masculine fragrance i'm trying to imagine right this fragrance definitely makes the list okay so busheron purum and this is the edp let's pause the video then we'll have top 10 all right let's continue i remove those first 10 i mean last 10 let's go for top 10 and i put them according to my liking because another fragrance i wish i had in this list is called at the barbers okay that one is by mason martin margiela a lot of fragrance i'm missing because i don't have them you know not everything can be owned by a man but I'm still showing you I'm very happy to have these. Okay, let's go top 10. Next one is a dupe of a fragrance that I think I like the original, but that one is a bit too mature for me and too expensive for what it is. That is Crete's uh, Pink Bordeaux Portugal. I don't have that, but I have this Lalik uh, Purum, and this is the Lion version. I think EDT or EDP. This one I think I have in, uh, I cannot read from so far, EDP concentration. Okay, so this one is affordable 35 to 40 dollars tops it comes with 125 mil and this has good performance you know not crazy but good so this one is more wearable definitely the lavender is there a little bit of spices very masculine and i definitely feel this is one of the best barbershop fragrance style sort of you can try lalik lion purum edp you can try the edp as well no problem next one mm. i think i made a little bit of mistake let me do a little bit of a reshuffle okay let me go next one. Sorry, number nine. This is Azaro. Okay, this is Azaro, Purum, Silver Black, or you can say Onyx, something like Black Onyx or Onyx. I forgot, maybe Onyx. These are fragrance lines that are discontinued. They also have uh, Night uh, Nighttime, they have uh, the Elixir, they are the three, and also have Azaro, Purum Intense, Azaro, Purum Summer, Low. All those are great, but this is good. If you actually love modern day, Dior Sauvage or Sauvage Elixir. I think the original of those, I'm not saying they copied the idea, but like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a blueprint or something was this fragrance, okay? Silver black. And this is so good. This is sweet, sexy, aromatic. This got the lavender. And it's also like barber shoppy, but more modern. It was way, uh, it was released way too early. It was too advanced for its time. That's what I feel. Check out my review, then you'll see. Amazing line. You can have the whole line for a price of one Savage Elixir. That's why that's great. Okay. Next one. As we talk about Savage Elixir, I don't have that. Way too expensive. Man, I'll never spend that money for that perfume. But I have a dupe. I can show you that. Albay Taldimashki, Savage Elixir, man. So, yes, I am saying Savage Elixir is good. I'm never saying it's bad. It's just too expensive for 
60 mil. I'm never paying that price for niche pricing for that 60 mil. That's too greedy for them, okay? Uh, this one, this is good, okay? This is one of the best uh, refined. It misses out on the spices, but in a clone, you cannot ask for so much more. I do have Fragrance World, Inimaun. I do have uh, Asad by Latafa, a few other, other ones. This one, so far, is the best. This house is different level. 75 mil will serve you so well. I am so happy I have this. Albay Taldi Mashki, Savage Elixir, man. <clears throat> There's also, I think, Mason Alhamra version, Savage Elixir, man, or something that's not as potent as this. Next one. Yes, this is the one I put actually on number 10, but I'm happy I got it higher up in the order. Pako Raban Puram, my older. 2015, I got this. I don't know which batch this is. You guys can try. This 50 ml bottle this is a quick version. And I think batch code is almost gone off from the bottle or something like that. This is actually old. Man, what a magical perfume. Uh, someone's told me there's a niche version of this I should get. Forgot the name of the house, uh, but I do have upper class version of this and the one. Pakaraban Purum opens up with very green, very raw, like a uh, animalic sort of opening, but it goes slowly to the vanilla. Amazing barber shop. Trust me on this one, it's a masterpiece. If you are into green fragrances, try that one. I love that way more than Azaro Purum. <clears throat> Next one, let's talk about the niche version of that or a plus version, which is uh, DV Like Stream. Uh, Duke de Le Varbons, I think. I always forget the name. Okay. And this one uh, by House of Hubicon. It's a niche house. The bottle looks really nice, but actually, that's plastic is kind of cheap, but looks amazing. This is a fragrance. This is straight up a man's man cologne. This one smells like Al Pacino. This smells like Scarface. It smells like Goodfellas. Those are the times you know fragrance game was real people used to wear this back in the days okay man <laughs> how can i say like enough praises on this just check out my review you'll see so long lasting so beautiful signature scent worthy upper class version of pakaraban purum in my humble opinion let's uh, go for the next one okay i think uh next one it's going to be a um, little bit um how to say different okay different as in like um how do I put this? It's not really typical barbershop. Let me show you what I mean. This is Dior Sauvage. Okay. This is a modern uh, version with that magnetic cap. Why did I put it here? It's all about lemon, basil. And then uh, I think there's a note of, uh, what's the other note? Rosemary. At the base, there's oak moss. There's some greenery. This one, Armani Opurum. So the citruses, in my humble opinion, also deserve to be in barbershop. I don't know why. Citrus, aromatic, fougere, amazing perfume. Not as fougere, like something like, uh, reflection man but i love this fragrance this one i'd imagine highly you know it would be so beautiful to smell this after fresh haircut and then you know grooming okay usavaj by dior so i have um, number four my bottle is almost finishing this is called creed and this is called viking one of the best modern master masterpiece of uh, our time okay i have about good 10 12 ml left this perfume is for real man only reason it's not top Number one, because it's expensive, okay, but I love it. Longevity through the roofs. I just love that barbershop, spicy, masculine feel. Creed, thank you so much for creating that. I need a backup bottle of that right now. Amazing fragrance, amazing bottle. Number four, <clears throat> sorry, number three. <laughs> number three is one of the best fragrance. When I talk about Zeno, if you can afford it, this is the niche version of Zeno. Tom Ford, Boudijour. My bottle is almost out. This hands down the most beautiful, appealing, sexy clean How, however whatever i say it will be just never enough tom ford make fragrances different this is one of the best creations sometimes some of the fragrances are a little bit underwhelming a little bit overpriced this if they ask for double the price of this whatever they're selling this for i would buy it that good take okay take note boudijour i think three to different four kinds of lavender used in it one of the best upper class lavender fragrance okay number two <coughs> I was in the on the fence. Which one? Number two or number one? This is number two. Pen elegant sartorial. Honey, a little bit spice and barbershop feel. And it has like uh, the feel of tailors, you know, like tailor shop with something to do with fabrics, needles, beautiful story attached to it. I had it once I sold it off because I thought it doesn't last. It's okay. Not everything has to be a beast mode. This is so classy. Only reason I put it ahead of Tom Ford because this one is a bit more affordable. This one goes for about $200. This one goes for $130 to $140. Worth every penny. If you, let me tell you, if you get any of these fragrances, man, in the top 10, you will not lose out, okay? Sartorial, lovely fragrance. Perfection 10. 
So what beat Sartorial? What made this one number one today? Burning Barbershop by DSN Durga. If any of you uh, are watching this, do let the owners know how much I appreciate this fragrance and all these. Okay. If they ever see this, they will know, you know, how much these mean to me. Man, Burning Barbershop has that edge. It makes that fragrance that niche. It takes it to the next level. I mean, these fragrances are great, but there are hardly anything in these fragrances that says, I am a bit challenging. I am a bit over the edge, I'm over the top, or I will be a bit difficult to deal with. This is the fragrance. You get that dhup smell. Dhup is like incense, kind of like a smoky that you smell in uh, Indian temples. Uh, man, that is so beautiful. I absolutely love putting this in my nostrils and sniff it straight up. It's like, I don't want to say drug, but it's so therapeutic. Amazing. Masterclass, Burning Barbershop by DS and Durga. There you go. Those are top 20. I actually had one more fragrance. Let me quickly show you a little bit cheating, okay? This is not part of the list, but I think also makes a great barbershop fragrance. I'll put it actually, yeah, let's put it as a joint champion. Opium Purum, and this is the EDP concentration. Man, no one has this. I bought it from one of the brothers, and this I cherish. See the juice level. I wear it only on special occasion. So yes, you can try these. Check out my review. Then you'll see why these fragrances are so special. Uh, someday, your nose will grow mature from sweet citrus. You're going to go to tobacco, um, maybe perhaps wood someday, then rose. And then you're going to go to powerhouse. Once you go to powerhouse fragrances, you'll see what maturity is all about. Once you grow older, man, your hair turns a little bit gray. And then you feel, man, I'm enjoying some of these old school classics way more than my sweet and freshy uh, childish clubbing fragrances you know those are the games you know like something like nishan is uh, talking a bit too much but let me finish with this note nishan is sultan vetiver not everybody will appreciate it the day you see nishan's sultan vetiver you are the sultan you know what i mean that's how i'm gonna finish the video thanks for watching if you actually did give me a comment give me a like if you like this content and do let me know what are your favorite barbershop fragrances and what are the ones i should check out have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.